this video, I'm going to be attempting to get the Platinum Trophy for Spider-Man 2. It's finally here. The wait is over. The game came out last night, and I'm here today to grind it out and get it in one sitting. So here we are in New York City, looking as beautiful as ever, and you're probably thinking that step one to this Platinum will be, obviously, to play the story mode, right? But that's where you're wrong. Because instead, right off the rip, I'm going to do some miscellaneous trophies instead. And yes, you will see that there's a... It says one out of 40-something of trophy. I've got one trophy, right? Because I obviously had to, like, play the, the first part of the story, so... But now that I've got, like, the free room aspect, I've decided to step, a step away from the story for now to do some miscellaneous trophies, and then I'll do the story after, which will have no spoilers, by the way, okay? I'm not gonna spoil anything. Spider-Man gets killed by Kingpin! Anyways, so up first, we're gonna be doing a trophy where you've gotta visit... Visit? Fish! Fish and chips! You gotta visit Aunt May's grave. Obviously, she died... Oh, well... Okay, I I'm spoiling the first game here. Uh, that's fine, though, right? <laughs> that's fine. Uh, yeah, she died in the first game. Um, so her grave is actually up at the top left corner of the map. Which, look, this whole map has not even been explored yet. So this will get me to cover a lot of the upper left side of the map, at least. And look at the wet. Wait, let me get the head. No! Let me get the headphones on. I gotta get immersed into this game because the web's slinging. The web's swing. It's just so... Do a trick, do a trick, flip. Oh, he's, he's Jesus. Yo, who's this? Is that the Green Lantern? On a boat, let me get on. You always playing the tunes. So yeah, after this, when I go through the story, I'm just gonna show the trophies. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I wanna say though, that the first boss fight was against Sam, man. Everyone knows, all right, it's fine. And it was unreal. It was like a whole movie. With that first boss fight, it was just so good. Oh my God, we had a flashback to No Way Home. Holy shit. What? I think Doctor, I think Doctor Octopus is gonna be over here. This is the bridge, isn't it? And then he stops all the traffic jams. You get in the back. That's still 2,000 meters away, right? We gotta get some speed going. Gotta get some speed. Oh, look at the tricks. Oh, you know what? There actually is a trophy for doing tricks midair. Not just any old tricks, though. Birds! 30 tricks without touching the ground. If I can do 30 tricks like this, just front flips and stuff, before I touch the ground, while I get over to my waypoint, and that'll be very lovely indeed, because we will knock off a trophy as well on the way to getting another trophy. Is that the Empire State Building? That's bloody massive! All my design. Look at this. Woohoo! The old Does that kind of touch the ground? I can't, like I did I landed but on a building, so I don't know. Double front pike, triple backflip, squeezer, ice cream. Well, I can't touch the ground again. Can I? What the hell? <laughs> oh, no way they got Sancho Park in this game. It's like playing Lego Marvel superheroes. Getting all the all the character tokens in there, remember? Oh hey, god, someone shoot me! crashing my fight or am I crashing yours? That's not my business though, I'm not getting involved. Who do you think I am, Spider-Man? <laughs> oh wait, my feet can't touch the ground, touch the ground. And it feels like... Slowly drifting. Drifting away. Wave after wave. Ooh, wave after wave. So many crimes in this set. I hit the billboard. Does that count? Wait, no! I've definitely fucked that up, haven't I? I definitely have. All right, here we are in the graveyard. A lot of people have died here. So we might see some ghosts on the way to Aunt May's grave. Oh, no. Poor guy. He's just visiting his mom or something. Why is there no writing on the on the stones? And why have you got your headphones on? Is this really an appropriate time to be playing the tunes? So, I mean, we don't actually know where her grave is. Um, excuse me, ladies! Has, has anyone seen the name Aunt May around here? Again, though, there's no name on that on that stone either. How do you know that this is someone? Oh, there's a name. Renee Hicks. Is that an Easter egg? 1798 to 1869. She's been there for like thousands of years. Kenny Hicks, 1844 to 1899. He's only like 50. It's a bit of an L. L lifespan. Oh, what's that? Is that a wee indicator? Oh my god, it, is. it has to be. That's the only one that's like flashing at me. And it's a different color as well. It has to. 
Jefferson Davis? Who the hell? Devoted husband and father. Jefferson Davis? I can still visit him though. Who is that? Am I missing something there? Doing my best to make you proud, Jeff. Is that J. Jonah Jameson? Oh my god, I find it. <gasps> ben Parker and... That's right, the, the bloody granddad died as well. He got pulled from a taxi. Aunt May though, oh you know what, Aunt May. A lot of people actually fancied her though. Me personally, I was not one of those people, right, trust me. I was not one of those people. Um, oh, well, not, not, the, not, the, not the Aunt May from this game though, because she was like an old granny, wasn't she? The Aunt May from the movies. Um, she, she apparently died twice then, in the movies on this game. Like, it's not looking good for Aunt May. Where's Zendaya, by the way? Why is she not in this game? Anyways, let's visit. Hey, May. Oh. Miss you. <gasps> you know what to do with a big fat butt. As Peter visit Aunt May's grave, it's been done. Let's see what he says ooh, after. Oh, I said, just, I miss you. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Can we dig up the grave? Let's go, guys. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god, guys. We're doing front flips in the air. I hear horses in the air. We're going up to the top. We never gonna stop. Hell's Kitchen, Gordon Ramsay style. What's he doing here? I can see the sand of the horizon. Yeah, there we go. Hang 10 for performing 30 air tricks in a row without touching the ground. Wave after wave. Wave after wave. Slowly drifting. Drifting the way! What's going on guys? Are you okay? Is that Peter Parker's son? Oh my god, that's his friend, Ned. Ned Flanders. Is that Quebble Cop? What the hell? It's Quebble Cop. What's he doing here? What you doing in New York? What are you doing? Can I talk? Hey! <laughs> Least awkward fan interaction right there. <laughs> Why are these people so bloody weird? You want a high five, sir? High five, up top! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Least zesty fan interaction. 4,000 meters away! Jesus! Right, well, our next trophy is to hit a home run, essentially. We're going to a baseball stadium and we gotta, like, I guess. Beat! We gotta pretend like we had a home run and then run around all the bases of the pitch, right? That's how baseball works. You know, you hit the ball and you run. Arn, arn, arn. All these inconsiderate assholes. Can't wait in the traffic line. New collectible! Crystal. Oh my god! More yes, give me that collectible! All over New York. You know what? There is going to be a big collectible grind at the end of this game, I'm pretty sure. So if we can knock some of them off early, then that would be ideal. Oh, it's just bloody sand dunes! How do you get up? Now. We're in! No Here we go! Bit of combat! You can see your boy Scotty V taking no damage as he does the unthinkable. As he does the impossible. It beats them all with absolute ease. Play on spectacular difficulty. I'm not actually playing on like friendly or something. <laughs> Look at that dodge. You see that timing? You see that timing? You see these moves? You see these, the, the, the skill set? Another great thing about the, the Spider Man games in general is the combat. Like it's. Ah! Oh, it's fucking. Ah! Oh. Right! Ah! Oh. That's better. Dodge that. You see a saw coming out time. Web him! Bloody hell. But yeah, there's so many, like, ways to fight in these Spider-Man games, you know? There's so many options, which is just awesome. But here we go. Yeah, so Sandman has these crystals that, that are left and right, and we gotta, like, take! We gotta crack them open. Oh, it's a ruby. The diamond ruby. Give me rotation, yeah? 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 And then that is that done. Nice. Marco's memories, that's what they are. Jesus, right, Mysterio fell off, didn't hey, I was just talking <laughs> to my source at the raft. Who's that? Marco's been me? And incoherent since he Who's me? Wait, how do you do a dive? I'm like, nose dive, ready? Yeah! <laughs> do, 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 do. I love the motivational music that plays when you're swinging along. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Yo, is this Quidditch? Look at all the hoops. Anyways, we are here at the stadium, so let's take a look. Oh, it's like a nice ah, got caught on the on the edge or something there. I'm on the edge. I guess we stand over. Yeah, yeah, you start here, right? I'm trying to think back to Wii Sports. You stand here, yeah. Ball comes in. I got the bat in hand. I should pretend, and then I do a big swing. Ah, uh, and then we're off. We gotta we make the run. Go 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 to the bases. There's one base. There's two bases. He's going for the home run! Can he do it? Peter Porkston! And... 
And Parker just home, home run bunt. Never in all. Oh, he's got dialogue. Run the bases at the Big Apple Baller Stadium. Easy, easy home run. <gasps> What's he saying though? My years have I seen one man accomplish so much by doing so little. What a season. What a season. Thinks he's the commentator now, does he? All right, so for the next trophy, we are going to injure ourselves. Yeah, we can actually hit the ground hard. Very hard. By not successfully landing an air trick. So, as you saw earlier, I was doing the tricks by holding square, like so. But if I hold it all the way down and don't web, then that happens and I get a trophy called splat for attempting and failing a trick before landing on the ground, yeah. So, right, patience is a virtue. Year nine. All right, so for the, ooh. So for the next trophy, we got to go to a very high point in the financial district, which will be, I think this right here. Web up. Oh, oh, how do I do this again? Is it X or triangle? X, how do I get up there, bro? You! Right, do it the old fashioned way. Here we go. We're up. Right. Okay. Oh my god. Right. Fucking hell, man. I, 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 I genuinely do not know what to do. There we go. We've landed. We've landed. Right. So we have to actually glide from here all the way up to. Is it Ant. And uh, Astoria, yeah, we have to glide into Astoria. You're probably thinking that's gonna be like impossible, but there are wind tunnels which like, you know, helps you to stay up in your web suit glider thing and it helps you to go fast as well. So it's, it's doable, right? It's... <clears throat> so I think the wind tunnel should be right along here somewhere. Oh, um. No, I've definitely went the wrong way. Yeah. I've absolutely went the wrong way. Maybe I'll find it luckily. No. For fuck's sake. For fuck sake! Oh, I can see the wind tunnel over there. We gotta go over there instead of- I was going left. Right, let's go. Ready? Three, two, one. It's on! I've done the wrong button. Oh, no, we're, we're good. No. I actually apologize for how bad I am at this game. Like, it's... It's bad. I've gotta remember, it's triangle! Let's go, triangle! Triangle! Yeah! Yeah! We're doing it! Now let's catch that wind! And now it's much easier to control! Is that a sand crystal? You can go through the hoops! I've missed the hoop. Oh, what the hell's happening? Why am I going so off, tr off track? Regain composure. Okay, then there should be another one. Yep, we can see it, we can see it, we can see it, we can see it. It's so scary. It's so scary. Control it. And all the way for the landing. We've done it. Astoria, land. <laughs> what? Is that my mistake or is it glitched? <laughs> Come on, boys. We can do it. You just gotta believe in yourself. You gotta have that faith. Here we are. Right, keep going, keep going, keep going. <sighs> and there it is, my friend. Sore for using the web wings to glide from the financial district to the Antope Astoria district. It's been done. It's not glitched. Oh. Okay, a bit of, bit of glitchiness in the game. All right. I mean, it's day one. To be expected, it's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, uh, again, a bit more glitchiness. He's just standing on top of the ambulance. You know, it's day one again, so I'm not gonna like uh, think that this is weird. Like, of course, this will happen, you know. But, sir, I'm not gonna lie, you've gotta get down, you know. They're gonna drive off soon, and then you just get off. Get off! He's gonna just stay there, isn't he? You're really dick. Anyways, that's about all I can do for miscellaneous trophies for now. There are a few more, I think, but I just can't do them yet. I've got to progress the story, so that is the next step to getting this platinum. It's going to be to play through the story, and again, I'm not going to show much, just the trophies. This is going to be, like, the most fun part of the game, you know? Just dive into that story. I'm going to lock in and enjoy every second of it. This is going to be an absolute blast. I know you've probably played it by now, so let me know what you think of the story, but again, don't spoil anything in the comments. And yeah, it's time to finally crack on 
with the Spider-Man 2 story. Let's go! Alright, so to kickstart the story trophies, I got one for equipping a suit style. I then got my first trophy actually relating to the story, and I also got my second trophy relating to the story. Cannot say anything more about them two. I got a trophy for using reverse flux to pull six enemies together as Miles. And then came the third story trophy, the fourth story trophy, the fifth story trophy, the sixth story trophy, the seventh story trophy, and finally, the 8th story trophy for finishing the story. Here's something very interesting that happened, by the way. For one of the final cutscenes, Miles was, like, invisible, except for his head and a bit of his neck. And I was sitting there going, is this, like, some kind of joke? Because I knew he had, like, this... He could go invisible, right? But not that invisible. And I was kind of thinking, is he, like, trying to be funny here? But then I was like, this doesn't really make any sense, but it turns out it actually was just a glitch. And then not only that, as soon as the story finished, and I went back to just free room, I was literally a Minecraft block. I was a Minecraft block just flying around the city, web swinging away as a wee cube. I was like, what is going on here? So after I finished the story, I moved on to the collectible grind and I got my first collectible related trophy for getting all of the photo ops. I then collected all of Marco's memories for a trophy. I collected all of the spider bots for a trophy. I got a trophy for helping some guy called Howard in a side quest. This was very emotional. Very emotional indeed, but no spoilers, okay? No spoilers. <laughs> I completed the side quest known as the Flame for a trophy. Very, very action-packed side quest. But again, no spoilers. <laughs> and after a few more side quests, I got the trophy called Neighborhood Friendly or Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man for collecting all of the friendly neighborhood friendly Spider-Man trophies uh, requests. Which are basically just side quests, you know, Spider-Man friendly neighborhood quests or just quests, side quests. <coughs> I got a trophy for collecting 10,000 tech particles. And then I went ahead and purchased all of the gadget upgrades for a trophy. I completed the side quest known as Grand Finale, where you do a series of challenges by defeating enemies in certain ways. For example, performing a certain amount of finishers on enemies, and then there's a boss fight at the end of this whole quest, which is a very well-known villain, but again, I will not say too much or anything at all, actually. I'm just gonna move past it, but it was very fun. Very fun indeed. Yeah. I got a trophy for completing another side quest called Hard Bop. How's my American accent, by the way, guys? Because I feel like, you know, with this game, I've been so invested and everyone's kind of, like, American, so I'm, like, kind of getting the vibe, you know? I'm getting the groove. I'm feeling groovy. I completed the target identified side quest by following hunter drones and destroying them for a trophy. I then got a trophy for defeating 100 enemies with my spider arm abilities. I then went ahead and completed all the hunter bases to get a trophy. To get a trophy. To get a trophy. I got a trophy for using my symbiote powers 25 times during the symbiote surge. Sarge Nabry. I then got a trophy for defeating 100 enemies with my evolved Choo Choo Venom abilities. I went ahead and completed all of the symbiote nests around the map for a trophy. And then I completed all of the EMF experiments for a trophy as well. These missions are very eco-friendly, you know? Eco-friendly side quests to do with plants and stuff. I collected all of the Prowler stashes for a trophy. And after doing all of these collectibles and all of these side quests and just trying to clean up the districts, I got a trophy for hitting level 60, which is the max level you can possibly hit in Spider-Man 2. After all that shenanigans, there was only one more side quest left to earn the gold trophy for getting 100% on all of the districts. What a big trophy that was. That's when you really knew, you, you really know that you're getting close to the platinum. And then there was a separate trophy as well for completing that last side quest. Look at that, my friends. We are loading up the game for the last time ever on 100%. You want to know why it's the last time ever? Because I'm about to get the platinum trophy right here, right now. I mean, I could come back to this game in the future for other videos, maybe on the main channel. You know what I'm saying? But for now, like, this is really gonna be where my time with Spider-Man comes to an end, you know? Right, so there's only a few things left to do. One of them things is gonna be to buy all the suits. Hopefully- Oh! The strike suit! So many of these are just so nice, like, aren't they? But hopefully I have enough parts to actually buy them all. If not, 
that I will have a bit more work to do, but that shouldn't be the case. So we got the Agent of Shield suits. Yes, yes, Nick Fury in that. Great responsibility suit. That's from the 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 comics. Yes, yes, yes. Crimson Coil suit. Is that Sammy Coils? Oh, that blue! Oh my god, that looks so, like, tasty. Jesus. I just want to give it a big chomp, you know? Just looks delicious. But that's it for all the suits. Kit it out, there's a trophy. We've officially got all of the available suits that there is to get in Spider-Man 2. Ending things off with that fresh new blue suit. The new blue, new blue. And we're not done with these menus just yet because we do have to go to the suit tech tab and fully upgrade the suit tech upgrades. Do we have enough particles still to get this all the way? One more? Are you joking me? I need more tech parts? No! To be fair, there's not that many left to get, so maybe I can just do like a couple of crimes and get the rest there. But that is just so annoying. Like, come on. All right, mate. What the? I thought we were done with all the symbiote surges. How are they? How are these guys still even alive? Ah! Get up! See you, bye, mate. Come on. Get him off the edge. What? Dodge. Yeah. Web up. Strike. Strike. Dodge. Finish him. Yeah. 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 170 tech parts. Fully loaded for purchasing all of Spider-Man's suit tech upgrades. And last but not least, there's two more things actually, but there actually is quite uh, an annoying trophy, I guess, where I gotta go to a certain mission to actually get it done. So we gotta go to the mission Bad Guys on the Block because this is the mission where you get the web line. Can you flip and play? How do you play them? Oh, you can't? Oh, nah. Because here's the trophy that I still gotta do and it's gonna be to take down 25 enemies in stealth from the web line. I've actually gotta do like, I think it's three? Yeah, three of them. All right, so after looking it up, yeah, you actually cannot just replay missions, which is pretty insane in my opinion, but okay. What I've got to do instead is hope that there's an, an autosave file for the mission that I need, but I'm not going to mess with any of that until I do the rest of the trophies, because if I end up, like, messing up my save and I can't do the rest of the trophies, I'm going to be fuming, like, so. I've only got one more trophy to do anyway, and it's this one called Just Let Go, where you have to find the science trophy that Miles and Finn one together. Who's Finn? Finn is in firm! Not there's a wee hint here as well. Do you actually just let me know where it is right away? So, over there. Okay, okay. Alright, so it should be over on this church thing, I believe. If we go up here. Ah, oh, there it is there. Showing a wee indicator. Alright, so we're gonna get up here, pick up the wee trophy, and space bound Finn Mason. Oh, my best Finn. Trying to make a city we both be proud of. Did he die or something? Just let go. There it is for finding the science trophy that Miles and Phineas and Far won back in the day. Yeah, I didn't play Miles Morales, I'm not gonna lie, so probably just spoiled something there, but it's all good. What do we have then? Epilogue. It's all fing epi oh I Are we actually serious? There's gotta be another way, but I've done everything in the game though. You've, you've got to be able to sneak up on some of the crimes, right? You've got to. All I've got to do is this, right? Then walk along. What the hell? Why did I cancel? Oh, it doesn't work. Are you actually serious? Right, please. Do, do not detect me. Do not detect me. Come on. What are you doing? No. Why have I fallen? Why did it just disconnect? Can you get up? Stop! Oh. Just get in the f***ing van! All I want you to do is get in the van! Shut up! Just give me the parts take on option, come on. I'm getting off. Three. Web line attacks. <laughs> Three web line attacks. <laughs> That's all I need to get the platinum. But there's no way possible for me to do it now. Thank you very much, Insomniac! Thank you! 
There's one. No, they know they- How have they seen me? All right, there's a breaking going on. I am going to hope that I- No, this bitch is here. Gonna kill them all before I even get a chance. Please let me come in stealth. There's no way they, they attack me. We do have the same eye. Yep. Well, there we go. Let's go to trophies. And there it is. The platinum is done. Spider-Man 2. What an experience. Easily a 10. Well, you see that last trophy? Nah, it hasn't really done much. It's still a 10 out of 10 game. Like, come on. It's unreal. It's been a big grind as well. I tried to do it, like, as fast as possible. I could not do it in one sitting like I kind of wanted to, but where did I start this? I started it on the 20th of October and got the platinum on the 23rd of October. So inside three days... I got this platinum pretty good. 2.9%? That's gone up a lot. You know, that was like 0.4 only yesterday. But that is it then for Spider-Man 2's platinum. What an incredible game. I don't think anything's going to top that this year. A lot of people are saying that it's going to be game of the year. And even though that's the popular opinion, it's the popular opinion for a reason. Like, it just is. It's, it's the best game of the year. Hogwarts Legacy was pretty good as well. But Spider-Man 2, everything about that experience felt fun. You didn't have to go around collecting field guide pages. Like, that was a, oh, that was a pile of shit, that was. Collectibles in this game, however, were just so fun and rewarding. So, it was overall just a fantastic ex experience.